All right, everybody, we're looking at Drake Wing Crassus. This card's pretty awesome. It's Flying Trample. I like it because it's in blue, which means if you're doing green, blue, black, uh, there's lots of cipher cards you can pop on this bad boy because he does have the trample. He's going to get through, you know, at least a little bit of damage. Uh, the fact that he's a one in the ass makes him obviously less appealing. He he's less tasty at that point, but there's really not a whole lot that you can really hope for. Uh, he's a three drop. This a three one lizard Drake. Pretty cool. We got Dusk Mantle Guild Mage. This guy says that whenever cards put new opponents in graveyard from anywhere this turn, that player loses one life. And it also mills them for two cards. Uh, I think this guy's going to go off, to be honest with you. I think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be a beater. I don't think it's going to be a showstopper. But I think that's going to niddle away at your life enough. You do need a ton of mana to make this like active unless you've ciphered uh one of the mill options onto one of your creatures where you can just you know tap this three down and keep the damage going keep it accruing but other than that i, th I think this guy's pretty good uh, i i don't really have a problem with him i think that he's going to do a lot more damage than people expect dusk mantle seer we just keep going with dusk mantle you just can't get away from it Flying at the beginning of your upkeep, each player reveals the top card of his or her library and loses life equal to that card's converted mana cost. It puts it into his or her hand. I love this guy. I love this guy. I want to be buddies with this guy. First of all, he's awesome looking. He's got like a Bane kind of, unless he's just like got one of those grumpy sad faces. It looks like that sad kitty thing, meme thing. I hate that. I don't get involved with memes really, but he kind of reminds me of that guy. I want an alt art where he's just like all fuzzy and he's got that face anyway i love cards like this because it's like mutually assured destruction i love this armageddon clock was my freaking ish when i was younger uh armageddon clock um what was uh the pestilence card where you tap down a crap ton of mana and like everybody died um they're just fun it is fun to look at your opponent and be like there's a good chance that we'll tie because i am such an idiot jackass like, I'm going to kill us both before I let you just win. Um, I like that. <laughs> I think it's funny. Uh, but a lot of people don't. I like this guy, though. This guy's got tricks for days, and as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, but the, the, the damage thing's not awesome, but I do like that kind of mutual thing. If you have a plan in mind when you lay this guy, you're going to win. They're going to be taking bonus damage, plus you know what's going into their hand. So if you've got a couple tricks in hand, you got this guy on the field, I, I think... You're going to be doing all right. Not to mention he's a 4-4-4-4 four, 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 four with flying. There used to be once upon a time we had to take damage if we were going to get a 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. So that's pretty nice. We also got Elusive Crassus. Crassus, maybe. He's unblockable. He's got Evolve. He's a guy. I, I'm i not too worried about him. He's a 3-3-0-4, so he's going to get bigger. That's the thing. Like, you got to assume this guy's going to be like a 2-6. I mean, he, he's not bad. Well, let's put it this way. He's not bad. I'm not shaken, but he's a three drop 04, so he's going to live a couple turns. He's also going to slow down your opponent's attack. I mean, put this in if you're, you know, running Simic. Uh, I don't think you're really going to find a, a better guy who's defensive early on and then later on can just sneak in a couple more points of damage. Uh, so I like him, you know, three drop. He's pretty, pretty sound. We've got Executioner Swang. It's a two drop, Nick five, Nick five. Um,. It's like Tragic Slip, split the difference, and added another mana. It's pretty much what it is. You know, it's like they compromised. Um, it's really more like that Piercing Arrow card, though, really, when you think about it. It's like Piercing Arrow, and I think that's what it's called. I know it's some the card art, some dude's chest, like, exploding with an arrow through it, which is not a good way to end your day by any means. It is going to end your day, though. Uh, but it's really like that, and Tragic Slip had a baby. Uh, it's a removal spell. I'd put it in. I'd run it. I mean, you're going to have white. You're going to have black if you're you know running your mana base correctly. So you're going to be able to kill stuff. You have to get hit in the face first, which sucks. Um, or you're going to have to probably lose a creature. Uh, but, you know, you can... It's Snake 5, Nate 5. So if it was like a 6 in the ass or like an 8 in the ass or something, you had a 2 or 3 creature, you know, depending on what's going on depending on which of those scenarios you're paying attention to this snake five snake five is going to go ahead and get rid of that so i do like that rather a lot i like my removal fathom mage i like drawn cards i love drawn cards one might say and there are a lot of different spells they're going to buff this per this uh 
<laughs> this particular card enough to make it make it cool. I don't like that it's a four drop. Kind of wish it had been a two two for a four drop, or they had made it three for a one one. I know you're gonna draw a lot of cards off of it theoretically, um, but at four. It's going to be... The curve with Evolve really concerns me. Building an Evolve deck, I feel, is not a limited game. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think that in limited, your resources are going to be such that building Evolve correctly is going to be very dangerous because you're not going to have four copies of Fathom Mage. You know, you're not going to have four copies of the 04 guy we just looked at. You know, the chances of you getting this on time aren't great. In late game, you're dropping... You're, you're, like, turn eight, you're crapping out a 1-1 one -one with nothing to do. So if you're top decking in Simic, you, I think you lose. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I think if you're top decking in Simic, you've lost the game because you're drawing a bunch of 1-1s and shit that aren't going to do anything later on. Uh, so I do have kind of a problem with that mechanic, so I am a little biased. So I'm not really looking at those cards too seriously. Am I going to lose to that deck? Maybe. You know, it's just going to be really hard to build and limited, you guys. It's it's going to be a lot of fun if you don't try and utilize the Evolve mechanic a lot, if you're not banking on that horse. Uh, but otherwise, I think you might run into some trouble. We got Fire Main Avenger. This one, oh my god, Lightning Helix on a stick. I will take eight of this guy. I will have two of these in my shoe when I'm playing a freaking Orzov deck, for God's sake. Not even splashing red. I'll just try and slip one on the table when nobody's looking. This guy's a freaking beater. He is a beater, beater, pumpkin eater. I love him. I want to be best friends with him. Her. Sorry. Fortress Cyclops. This is a card. Uh, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny um, because one of my other favorite cards from uh ravnica just just to play with because like i said i played recreationally back then uh was the one where your creatures got what was it was it plus three plus three when it was your attack step or when it was your turn they got plus three attack when it was your opponent's turn they got plus three defense uh and that was a five drop enchantment it wasn't you know a dude but i think this is kind of a little nod to that card it, it makes me chuckle i like it um <laughs> i don't think i don't think he's great uh, he is a 6-3 for 5. He's 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 not great. If he had first Strikletons, I would love him. I'd have a baby with him. Uh, but he'd also not be, you know, an uncommon. So I, I don't really like him too much. I don't think he'll make the cut in any of my decks that I'm building. Uh, just to let you know, I am playing with every single, you know, guild. Uh, the guild I'm going to do twice is probably Orzov, just because we're doing the two-headed giant. Uh, and just side note, Orzov, Demir, two-headed giant, I think is going to go off like gang busters, gang buster rhymes, uh, just because it says that you get to cast the spell again with Cypher. So you would get to cast the spell again. So if you play it, um, right. I think between the two of you, you should be able to build decks that synergize very well if you're in Demir and Orzov, because you'll be able to utilize cipher and extort to the best of your ability that's my personal thinking behind it but you know that's just me anyway i just wanted to let you guys know that i am playing with every single i'm playing in like six events this weekend um so i'm, I'm gonna be playing a lot so that's just kind of where i'm coming from when i'm looking at these cards foundry champion this guy's six drop four four but He's got Enter the Battlefield effects, which I love. I love entering the battlefield and doing something saucy. I love just strolling onto the battlefield and be like, damn, oh, take four damage, take three damage, we'll die, do some shit, you know, whatever. I like it. I like it. And this guy's got a pretty awesome one. He's going to do damage to target creature or player. He can nug somebody. He can nug him in the cheeser. Equal to the number of creatures you control. I like it. I like that. He gets plus one in the fronts for the fire fires, and he's got plus one in the ass if you're showing him a flames. So... He's not bad. He's pumpable. He's got awkward pumps if you want to give him plus one, plus one. But let's be honest, how often are you going to need to give this guy plus one, plus one? Probably all the time. Probably a lot. But, you know, hey, whatever. Frenzy telling. This, this guy got carried away. He's telling all sorts of things. He's destroying a land, and then he's searching for a land card, and he's putting that onto the battlefield. If it didn't cost five, I'd be really happy with it. It costs five, so I'm not super happy with it because I don't really need a land at five, and I don't really give a shit about destroying their lands if they have five. So I don't really like this card. It's probably not going to make my decks, uh, but there you go. Gore Clan Rampager. Besides being really grumpy, he looks very grumpy. He's got a lot of Tuskasauruses, though. Look at him. He's Tusky. Him and Thragtusk are going to get together, have a baby. 
named Gore Tusk Boar Ulten. He's really good though. Target attacking creature gets plus four, plus four, and gains trample for two. This is the card that made me excited about Gruul. I was like, Gruul, because if you remember the first cards they were announcing for Gruul that they were revealing for Gruul were boring. I did not care. I was like, oh yeah, I can pay nine mana to give my creature plus 12, plus 12. That, that's great. That's great. That would probably end the match, but they didn't have fun things like trample. Like, I think the first one that was kind of cool was that Vyashino that gives it first strike. Because I love first strike. That's funny. If you can instant speed to give somebody first strike, that's good times. But this is uncounterable 4-4 trample. I love it. I want nine of these everywhere I go. Ground Assault. It's going to deal damage to dark creature. Equal to number of lands that you control. Yet another card that doesn't work with the Swedish Chef. I just don't. I don't love it. I don't love it. And I don't need any more of it anywhere around me. That card, just the fact that it doesn't synergize with him. I like that card. I just don't like the fact that nothing seems to synergize with Borgi Florgen Florgenston. Gruel Charm, it's on a hammer. Oh, uh, yeah, hammers are cool. You can creature without flying, they can't block. Or you gain control of all permanents you own, which people be like, what? But, you know, there are some cards in the set that take control. It's not really great. I don't know. Three damage to each creature with flying, that's really good. I like it for that. It's really a, it's a one trick pony with two other things on there that it says. I don't know. I, it's, I'm not super excited about it. I like dealing three damage to each creature with flying. I love that. Just like obliterate flyers. That's pretty good. Uh, but I just am not. Permanence you own. That's, that's kind of nice. That's so oddly specific though. And creatures without flying can't block. There's not a whole lot of flyers that I feel like you're going to have if you're in Gruel colors. So, unless you're like doing a red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. That's something, that's something you could do. Whenever Gruel, Rage Beast, or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, that creature fights to our creature and opponent controls. I kind of like this. It costs seven, though. Uh, so, at. Nah. Nah. It's kind of late. It's a six, six for seven. They've got big stuff too, so I'm not in love with them. High Priest of Penance, uh, you know, he, whenever he's dealt damage, you destroy target non-land permanent. That's kind of nice. He's two drop, or, you know, for, for two drop for a 1-1 one -one that destroys something, they're not going to want to block him. I think it's going to be really funny, the amount of damage you're able to do to someone with this guy. I think that's going to be pretty chucklesome. I think you're going to be like, uh, I hit you for one. They're going to be like, okay, take it. I hit you for one. Okay, take it. Like, you probably should just kill this guy. Stop slapping yourself in the face for one damage. But whatever. I, I think people are going to let you get away with murder with that guy. Hydroform, I love this thing. I love this thing. I love it. Target land becomes a 3-3. Elmo creature for flying. You get to block somebody and you can still tap down for another trick. You can still tap your 3-3 three, three creature down for another trick. This is a common that is beautiful. I like commons that are fun. I like it. I want, I want to play with it. King pins pet this thing's got flying and extort it's a three drop cheap extort cards that's what we were looking for when we started talking about extort so that's cool you know he's he's cool he's got little breast knuckles on there he's kind of fun he's fun looking i don't know extort i like extort to be honest with you i don't hate extort and i like flying and i like three drops that are two twos so with evasion so hey he's he's pretty good he'll probably make it he's gonna make it i mean he's a common so he's going to be on there, flying, flapping around. There's enchantments you can throw on him too. You know, that's pretty good. Lazav, Demir, Mastermind. He's a shapeshifter. He's so cool. I love this guy. He's got Hexproof, which barely matters anymore when we get to this freaking artifact that I hate, but I already have a workaround for. Like, I was brewing with this set when they released the very first card. Like, when we saw the very first, like, four or five cards, I was like, I am going to build a deck. And I just started brewing with them. Uh, so I had a deck in mind that was real heavy on the Hexproof. And then they were just like, hey, guess what doesn't matter anymore? Hexproof. Here's an artifact that you can suck on. And it made me sad. Uh, it did kind of ruin my plans a little bit. It threw off my mana curve and everything because I had to add cards, take cards out. But I I'm going to have her. I'm going to be ready. <laughs> like week Friday Night Magic 1, I'm going to have like pretty much the deck I'm going to run for the majority of standard built like i am ready for this set 
This guy just becomes stuff that hits the graveyard. He's cool. I love him. Actually, I think he's really, really awesome. His name's still uh, Lezov Demir, mastermind though. It's legendary. Um, the jury was out on this guy until I got the official ruling on him, um, which I which I did not get, and I probably should have before I started talking about these cards. Um, journalism. Moving on. He's cool. He's cool though. He's cool. If I was betting. God, ugh. <laughs> see, because I'm not 100% how legendary rule reads. I think it's two cards with the same name can't be out, but I think they both have to have creature type of legendary. Like, they have to be a legendary creature type. So I'm not sure how they went about ruling on this. I don't know, guys. Life's a friggin' mystery. Bother your judges. I don't know. They kept it. Dude, I really... Oh, shit. Comment. Comment and have a two-part comment. First of all, say you're a terrible person because you don't know this. Second part, be like, hey, dickbag, this is what it does. So I should I should have just looked up the legendary rule. I'm really bad at looking things up, apparently. Stupid. Marsha Glory. Uh, this card gets plus three. It's on turn. Turn creature. Turn creature gets plus three. And, and the S. It's just like, oh. Was... Hey, you get either or, be both, to our creature, to our creature, to our creature. I think it can be both. doesn't say they can't be both. So, and it would have said another target creature. So, you got tricks. If you got somebody with first strike, you can be like, pow, you have first strike and now you're fat in the front. And if you got somebody who's a little ass but going to kill the other guy, you can be like, kaboom, now you got a big ass, you're going to live too. I just killed your side, my dudes are okay. So that's fun. Uh, it's kind of like that common bond, you know, you need just dropping, dropping stuff like it's hot. It's kind of, it looks kind of hot. That sword, it's all shiny, but anyway, oh, sword and shield. That's so clever. Dark creature gets plus three. No, dark creature gets, you know, plus three. Could be the same guy, but if you're being tricky, it doesn't have to be. That's another good common. I love common tricks. It's the elf wizard. He's a biomancer. Each other creature you control enters the battlefield with the number of additional plus and plus encounters are equal to the number of blah, 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 blah. And it's a mutant. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Guys, that guy's, that guy's Beater Jr. He's going to help people beat you. I like it. He's an elf wizard. He's got, he's got fun. He's got a funny face with a silly helmet. Merciless Eviction. This is sorcery and it costs six, but it's got options which i guess is why it costs six i wish it cost four i just want a damnation i just want them to print damnation again just give me a damnation please I just want it i want it what hell what happened to all my four drop destroy all everything ever six drops used to destroy all permanents all non-land permanents now they just do one of four things why would you exile all Pralines Walkers? Like, what kind of a shithole do you have to be in that the only way to dig out of it, the only way to get rid of these Planeswalkers is to spend six mana to kill one Planeswalker? Because they're pro if they have two, then you're facing the Planeswalker build, and you're probably sad already. But I just... Ugh, come, man. Six drop! Kill a Planeswalker? No, I can do that for two. I can do that for two mana if I have black and red. Mind grind. This is fun. Each opponent reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals X land cards. Then you put all the cards revealed this way in his or her graveyard. X can't be zero. That's good. That's good. I don't care who you are. You got to flip over several lands. Not to mention the fact that even if you do this for three and they flip over three lands, they have three less lands in that deck. In limited, that means that they probably have 13 lands now in their deck. That is good. It's good for you, and it's bad for them. And that's what you want out of this game, is to be happy while everyone else is sad.